So one building tip, if you look at this image, you'll see that the plastic axle here in the center is divided into two sections. The shorter section is just the right length to fit into the motor. So on the second image here, you'll see the motor is attached on the shorter side. Now that's very useful because it keeps the axle from falling out uh, of the motor completely. So you can use this plastic piece, the plastic axle, to ensure that the axle itself will not slip out of the motor. The second tip from this picture involves these two smaller pieces that has a round side and a square side. This piece replaces a short axle that is going to go through a small gear. So if you see on the second picture here, these two small gears will fit onto those plastic square parts and there's no need for an axle to actually go through to the opposite side in the other three situations. These axles on the sides here are only long because they're going to be attaching to wheels. They're not necessary for these smaller gears. These smaller gears are called idlers. They don't actually increase or decrease the torque or the speed of the wheels in relation to the motor itself. Now one more thing that you notice about them existing, you know, why are they there? Well, the third building tip involves these small standoffs that fit in just below where the small gears are attached. Because these gears are smaller, they allow for room to be used for other reasons, and this reason in particular is to hold the two longer 2x10 beams together. So this second part doesn't fall off, and you don't have a need for any sort of stoppers to keep the axles and the gears and everything else uh, in place and in the right uh, distance. So that's the third tip here. You can use these short uh, standoffs to hold two beams together, but only if you use small gears because they're the only way that you're going to have room to place a short standoff.